what's up guys this is Theo from Fino concept and today we are going to learn how to create shadows so let me just bring up our Photoshop application or software I'll click on file open set this to 1280 by 720 resolution 300 then hit ok click and drag this here okay so i bring up my zoom tool and set this to fit the screen um creating shadows creating shadows i'm going to start by using the a simple text final concepts okay i'll set this to the center and hit okay now there are several ways of creating uh, shadows of this particular text right here. Um, the first I'm going to talk about is uh, the hue and saturation. Now, hue and saturation basically, if I hold down control and click on this part of the um, text or shape or image, we will work on shape on an image later on so now you notice that this part of the um, text is selected it's selecting the entire text so if i go to our adjustments panel here and click on hue and saturation or hue and saturation that could reduce the lightness to black total black i notice that this entire image or text becomes black it's only affecting um, the layer on top not the actual text so I'm going to click on any of these edges then right click and set it to flip vertical so if I hit that uh, and let me just drag it out notice that this is vertical to our main image so I just hit on OK if I click anywhere you notice that there's a shadow of this particular text right here but this shadow is too um, dark is taking the entire space so we could reduce the opacity to about 30% if we hit enter um, it has zoom to you notice that now this is looking a little bit more realistic um, there are some other things we could do to the shadow to make it look um, much better um, the first thing is I'm going to bring up my move tool and I'm going to resize this so if I resize this now it looks like um, the light is way up and it's casting an entire long shadow by this text so still on my hue and saturation layer I could hold con control and click and drag this portion out um, I could once holding down control I could click and drag this portion out too so now we have another um, form of uh, back background no not background shadow being created okay we could uh, also manipulate this several ways the third one is I could go to filter go to blur then go to Gaussian blur now Gaussian blur is going to add some amount of blur to this probably let's set it to 2 um, I think 5 will be ok yes so if I hit ok you notice that uh, it's giving us this blur over the image making it a little bit more realistic as compared to what we were using before so let me continue with the second part second part is we could duplicate this um, layer we could click and drag and put it on the create new layer and that's going to duplicate or we could hold down control and press press J and that's also going to duplicate J, J, J for Jack. 
so once it's duplicated we could double click on this part now double clicking it is going to bring up um, the options for the text tool and we could change the color to black and hit ok if you don't want to double click you could just bring up your text tool and just highlight everything and set it to black hit ok now once it's black we just do what we repeat what we did with the um, hue and saturation we we'll flip this vertically then we'll drag it over here uh, we could also adjust it and when you are done we hit ok I'm using the up arrow key so I'll bring this over here then I'll reduce the opacity to about 10% so 10% we have a shadow of a text that's good I think so this is for text um, now let's let's try shapes uh, this time around I'll use a polygon and no I set this to okay so we have a pentagon right here click and drag this part out So, for the shapes, we could also hold down control and click on the shapes layer right here. Now, this is going to select just that part. Um, control D to deselect. You could also use your magic wand to just. Um, what am I saying? If it was just uh, a shape we created with a brush tool. You could just use your magic wand then just click on it and you, you could select that part you could also hold down control and you could just select that part so let me delete this because this is a shape you can't use the magic wand on it you notice that it's giving you this um, cannot use on its sign here so what you can do is you could right click and rasterize the layer then it becomes flattened so you could now use it on it but I, I do not want to do that I want to keep it as a shape so undo 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 now we have our shape right here um we could also hold this down we could use the hue and saturation set it to black just like we did previously or we could hold down control and press J to duplicate now if we double click here we could change the color to black and um, so here we could uh, click on any portion so basically we are doing the same thing for all then I could um, tilt this to here so for one image you could have or one image or shape you could have several um, shadows to it and let me show you an example I'll flip this also vertically mm, probably here in case there are different light sources so let me just drag this one out hit ok on the polygon the black polygon I'm also going to drag that part out and hit ok now i'll hold down control so that i could select these two images or these two layers then the opacity is set to 20 so it's going to affect both layers and when i hit ok oh oops, oops, oops. it's actually polygon one copy the black one and the hue and saturation now set it to 20. okay so you notice that we have um two shadows for this if you duplicate you could have another one so yeah this is it for shapes so basically it's the same idea you apply to all um 
now let's just bring up an image probably this bottle control a to highlight everything control x to cut it out then i'll close this thing up so control v i'll paste this thing in then with my move tool i'm going to resize this so i'll resize it to about this height now notice that um the image already came with a white background for you to see this let me duplicate this and i'm going to invert it so inversion black is going to be white white is going to be black and the short key on the keyboard is hold down control and you press i so this is inverted to black now you see that the layer actually came with a white background so we want to take away the white background we can use the magic wand just click on any portion then we delete press delete on our keyboard so this would delete it or we could um, create a new layer out of it so if we invert with the layer mask selected if we invert it you notice that we have uh, that part selected you could also use your you could also use um, the quick selection to to select that portion out I'm not going to be perfect with this because uh, we've already covered selection so I'll just create a layer mask from here so let's get rid of this black background now we know that there was a white background already with the color so um i'm going to apply this layer mask to it and the moment i apply you notice that the layer mask is applied to the image so the image is just um transparent now so i bring back the background now to create a shadow for this let's let's send this backwards um let's make it smaller to create a shadow for this you could hold down control you click on this portion uh, you bring your adjustments uh, up then you click on hue and saturation so hue and saturation then we just reduce the lightness to black notice that it comes up again you click on any portion right click then you send you flip it um, vertically so you can send this to the bottom uh, here you hit ok then you set your opacity to probably 20 so we have a shadow here if you do not want that um, once you have the shadow you could uh, manipulate just like we discussed earlier so I could um, move these two images let me make it smaller so with my shadow selected I could just play along with this so this is how the shadow is looking like it's okay no 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 I'll bring it back here okay um so we could take this portion out you could also highlight this part you create a new layer and with that part highlighted you could use your paint bucket then you set the color to black then you just color that portion black so essentially what you are doing is you are creating a black color using the same shape and size of the image you want to create a shadow of so i set this to vertical then i'll bring it to the bottom hit ok i'll change the opacity so basically that's how to create shadows um with the changing of the position and shape of the shadows everything is based on the move tool so i could rotate this here 
then holding down control I could click on this portion of the shape click and drag it to the bottom here I could click and drag this part to here so um, basically you just use your imagination probably the light is coming from this source so the shadow is going to lie down this way so if I bring the shadow below the image you notice that we have this shadow right here I could also right right click and make it horizontal then bring it to the side you notice that we have the shadow at this side too so basically that's it for creating shadows um see you guys in the next one